mean, and he answers like all our questions. You know, really, honestly, I I I didn't really feel like uh, I was using another brewer as a resource to any significant way. You know, yeah, I mean, I knew some brewery. I, I, we went to all the breweries that are immediately around here that you know that had you know that are possibly interested in what we're doing in our area here because we're in their locality. You know, but not for advice, just to say hello. You know. Okay. I did ask one question one time to one of the brewers. You know, of the course, they offered up. They're like, "Oh yeah, yeah. Anytime you need anything, any any questions, you know, you uh, you, you please call me. I'll be glad. I'll help any way I can." It was a generous offer, you know. So I did call him up one day. I said, "Hey, look. So I'm trying to figure out this acid base business with the brewing water." You know, so what do you do when you're brewing a pilsner? Oh, well, I think you better get a brewing program. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not going to tell you what I do. I'm going to tell you, you know, you've got to do your own legwork on this, pal. (laughs) Yeah. I'm going to ask you more specific questions. Yeah, so, yeah, I'll help you, but not really, you know. I mean, if you want to set the grain, okay, fine. But you you want a brewing secret, like the water, no, I'm not helping you. You know, so. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. I'm, you can't you can't deny the fact that a brewery that's just a few miles away from where you are, if you're in some form of competition with them, you are right. I mean, there's right. no just really no doubt about it. You can't that denying that or saying, oh no no, it's not like that at all. Well, that's bullshit, right? So, <clears throat> well, bull crap. Right. Sorry, I probably shouldn't. Hey. This is a drinking podcast. If you can't cuss on here, where can you cuss? Yeah, I guess that's true. You know, consider yeah. the audience. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The podcast, too. There's no legality to it, right? No, there's no FCC to find me. Like, we could do all the – we could do the whole Jar- George Carlin bit if we wanted to, and no one's going to say anything. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Well, I'm not – don't make a habit of saying too many awful words, you know, when I'm doing something that's not working out right, you know. Oh, of course, or stubbing your toe or anything like that. Yeah, right. Yeah. Now, I have a segment on the show I call it the five counts. It's five random questions. Just uh, answer as quick as possible. Okay, I'm ready. All right. If you were on America's Got Talent, what would your talent be? I would say, boy, oh, boy, if I was on America's Talent. Boiling water. Yeah, I'm, I've learned how to boil water. <laughs> I imagine, yeah, with with the with brewing, that's a, definitely something you're very good at. Yeah, I can boil water. Uh, if you were a pro wrestler or MMA fighter, what would your name be? Say that one again. If you were a pro wrestler or MMA fighter, what would your name be? Redhead. There we go. That's not a bad one. Uh, what are you nerding out on right now? My boiler. <clears throat> yeah, it's a steam system. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely nerding out on the boiler because it wasn't working right for a while. Uh, uh, who or what inspires you? What inspires me? Quick answer. Am I inspired by? I am inspired by. The common blue collar worker, because like it's, it's something I hadn't really didn't know what they were about mm. until I got into this and started actually making stuff. And the blue collar worker is my inspiration because they know how to do shit. Right? They know how to do shit. That's it. They know how mm-hmm. to do shit. They don't maybe talk about it or think about it or whatever. They just do it. Right, it gets mm-hmm. done, and I like that. That's it. That's inspirational. That's awesome. And what would you tell your seventeen-year-old self? Tell my seventeen-year-old son: pick the things in life that you really feel comfortable with. Right. Hmm. So you know, don't don't uh, don't achieve something that you're not really interested in because it's cool pick pick the things mm. that you're you're comfortable with and
and and stay there you know or you know let that guide you as to what you should do i love that now if people want to find out more about y'all follow you online uh visit the brewery uh how could they do all the things well so uh swicklybrewery.com is our uh, uh it's actually we're the big Swickley Creek Brewery, but apparently you can't get a domain name like that. So it's Swickley, E W I C K L E Y, Swickley dot com, and you'll find us. <clears throat> and there we go. Instagram, I don't know what Instagram. Probably Swickley Brewery too. I, I, you know, honestly, I don't have Instagram. I don't. My <laughs> I don't do Facebook. I don't do Instagram. I don't do photo chat or snip chat or whatever Twitter. I'm not on any of those things. <laughs> uh, no, you're, yeah, you're it's like a generational you're, thing. I, I'm just it's past me. You okay. know that that technology went past me while my eyes were closed, right? So. <laughs> no, yeah, it's Big Swickley Creek Brewing uh, out on Instagram. So if anybody wants to uh, follow you guys on there and check out what you're doing, you guys keep up a pretty good, um, you know. You show the new beers, you show what's happening during the week, um, and then, yeah, it, it, you guys kind of have everything on there. All right, man. We're rocking it as best we can. There you go. Well, Mark, thank you so much for your time. Uh, I've loved this conversation, and, uh, yeah, the next time I'm in that area, I'm definitely swinging by for some loggers. If I hear you've come to Pittsburgh and didn't stop by, I'm going to beat your ass. <laughs> Thank you so much to Mark for being on the show. Again, check out Big Swickley Creek Brewing if you are in the Pennsylvania area. It is a fantastic beer. Uh, also, while you're doing that, make sure to tag us on the social medias. On Follow us as well. It is Bruiser's Pod. That is B-R-E-W-S-C-R-S-P-O-D on the Instagram, the threads, and the Twitter. If you want to send us an email, it is bruiserspod at gmail.com. If you want to follow me directly, it is Rodie John. That is R-O-D-I-E-J-O-N. Rody John is the name on the Twitter and on Untapped. In case you want to find out what I'm drinking, maybe we can have a beer together. Also, if you want to follow me on the Instagram or the threads, it is official Rody John. And send me an email if you like. It's rodyjohn at gmail.com. So until next time, make sure to enjoy life, drink local, and cheers.